everybody, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich. You know, over recent years, one of the common words in the NHL has been parity. A lot of teams close together. And boy, if you can put together an impressive streak, you're doing something. And that comes with confidence, Doc. When you can put a number of games together and win them all, you go into a building, you know you can win, and you can beat any team in the league. Calgary's coming into this game with a lot of confidence. As a player, you know and feel you're going to find a way to keep this streak alive. Let's look at the starting netminders. Steve Mason is in the crease tonight, and not even a decade ago was a junior hockey player in London, Ontario, winning 45 games, plus nine in the playoffs en route to the Memorial Cup, Canadian junior hockey's top prize. Luongo's the last line of defense for the Flames. All goalies love shutouts, even if some don't want you to mention it too early. He has held the enemy scoreless once this year. How's that? Crosby's the starter here. That means he is expected to set the tempo. The Flames have the first possession. Calgary's carrying on along the boards. Those big pillows on his legs came in handy then. Looks ahead to start something. To Neal. Passing one off now to Opozo. Using the point. Terrific glove save. Pitching it to Crosby. The Flames with possession up the wing. Mashed in. Back in his defensive end to get it. The referee is instructed when he loses sight of the puck at any time, he must blow his whistle. And he did. The Kings have had an excellent last 10 games, and they're full of confidence. They were telling us this morning, even though their opponents have had an excellent last 10 games as well, they feel they're the better team. Terrific challenge, outstanding save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. The Kings control the play at center. Good, quick stick. Puck is grabbed by Jokin. They've got a two-on-one. Outnumbered, but not outskilled. He can start some danger here. Piece of it, rebound. Directing that one to Felino. One-timer, and it's driven away again. Puck covered, whistle blown. Mason's in perfect position to make the save on that two-on-one. It was really well played in front of him. A little under seven minutes have passed. No goals to report yet. The Flames win that faceoff. He got a piece of it. That's turned aside. Gets play stopped. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Good clean win. One timer. Propelled to Nemeth. Puck is thrown to Brodziak. Pointed to Nemeth. Great job on a cut pass. Thrown in. Mason's out behind to stop it right there. The Kings in their own end lug that puck along to Brodziak. Hit into the stanchion, and he almost got Ray. That area of the ice has become much safer since the rule changes. The Flames carrying it in their own end. Chip to Ribeiro. It's a three on two as they move in. Wow, what a glove save. That was all positioning right into his glove. Puck collected by Airhawk to Richards. Snapping a pass to Klo. Puck corralled by Duncan Keith. That one comes right on his stick. Not very long, but good. Outstanding glove save. Calgary's in possession as they travel in the defensive zone. Pass to the shooting position. He scores! Oh, I take that back. No goal. Mason's furious. He feels he was interfered with. The ref's going to agree with him. This will be no goal.
The Flames control from the neutral zone. Calgary's in control of the puck in their own end and readying an attack. Left wing pass to Yonker. Looking to Felino. What a chance here! Score! The right one. Luongo's unable to get the glove on this. The shot overpowers him on the glove side. The Kings have gotten the first goal of the game. Perhaps they can carry that off the ice with them. Calgary's got it off the draw at center. He throws it there. Padded away. Taken on by Keith. Picks it up in his own end. Laid on to Torres. Slid to Chara. Nice pass right up the gut. Got in the way of that one, too. All a part of generating an offense. Little pass off from the goal. Cranks a shot. Oh, what a grab! The first frame is done. It's a 1-0 game. All right, let's look at the shots on goal in that period. Ten for Calgary and five for Los Angeles. The difference in the game is just one goal, and it came late in that period. Will it springboard to something more in the second? We'll see, but for now, we go to break. We are in the early stages of this game, about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first? Calgary's team is still in this game, Doc. They're down by one goal, but easily could be a lot more. You hear the term now, puck management. They did not manage the puck at all in that first period. Oh, tremendous stop by Mason. Wow, what a save there, Doc. One-timer. Great opportunity, but the outstanding save with the glove. After being under attack the last sequence, they needed a whistle. Just a remarkably desperate play by the goalkeeper keeps this one out. Quick work on the faceoff. Puck gathered in by Scott Hartman. Making headway through the center zone. And he dumps it in. Looks ahead to start something. Los Angeles shifting gears back in the defensive zone. Moving it to Hartnell. Carried behind by Weidman. Trying to go to Goudreau. On to Thornton. No, oh, and they've got a two-on-one here. Score! Joe Thornton. You get to this high scoring area, a wrist shot is a great choice. Good rules displayed some sweet hands. That's a soft dish right on the tape. Calgary's got this game even up now, and we're still in the second period. Neutralized faceoff win. Steps right behind the net and takes over. And the puck is grabbed by Duncan Keith. Los Angeles with possession in the defensive zone. Out in front, and it's turned aside. They score! What a quick answer to that one! And this stinks for the goaltender, Enzo. He stops about 85% of this puck. That's not enough. It just trickles past him. LA's broken the tie and gotten back ahead, and we're still in the second period. Should be fun just to get to the end of this one. Calgary's got another faceoff win. Now it's directed to Salmon. Intercepted by Mike Ribeiro. It's an odd man rush. It's a three on two. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. 
Pass attempt to Brodzia. Loose puck brought in by Keith. LA is accelerating on in neutral ice. Fires! Outstanding save with a glove. That slight hesitation by the shooter allowed the goaltender to make a beautiful glove save. Dumped in. Corralled by Ribeiro. Possession taken up by Duncan Keith. Oh, look at this. He's in. Marvelous save by Luongo. A shot. Marvelous save. No time on that one. The goalie makes himself look big. Propelled to Gabra. Heads to the front. It's off his pad. Pitching this one to Opozo. Perfect receipt of the pass. Oh, a save. Passing one off now to Gabra. Could this be icing? And it will be based on the defense arriving first. Mason's bailed his team out again. That's another odd man rush against. He bails him out. The Flames with a clean win on the draw. Calgary's in their own end, carrying it on. Good jab with the stick there. He's in his own end of the ice now. And what's up? Carried toward the woodwork by Hartnell. Chip to Chara. Back in his defensive end to get it. Enormous collision. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. The Flames in their own end controlling the play. Good, you what a save. Seemingly had no chance. Super stop, but if you're the shooter, that puck's got to be in the back of the net. Laid on to Hartnell. Good position in the slot. He missed the net with the shot. Got a piece of that one. That's two periods in the books. One more to go, but a rest comes first. We take a look at the shots on goal through two periods. 15 for Calgary and 11 for the Kings. Every playoff game are teams will bring to Los Angeles has gotten the go-ahead goal, and it looked just like this as we had to break. Make sure to stop off at any team store here at the arena. Pick up your specially priced item of the game. Our scarf tonight. Two periods played, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? Calgary's down after the first 40 minutes of play. A couple of positives. One, they're only down by a goal. Second, time of possession has been in their favor, but at some point, they have to convert some of those chances. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Calgary's in their own end, continuing on. Pitching it to Yonker. Taken away. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Tip to the net. Score! Crosby. Crosby's able to get himself in position to one-time that puck to the back of the net. Ends a good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands, and the shooter has a walk in. Just over three minutes have gone by in the third. The Kings had the lead, but here early in the third, this game is tied. At the point, Big Shaw! He got his pad on Can he generate something? Cut his glove on it! Directing that one to Hartnell. Slid to Jokinen. Gets that pass back again. Great stick save. Calgary is carrying it in the defensive zone. Thornton's carrying it through center. Oh, and here's a three on two. Magnificent glove save. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Good face-off win. One-timer. Wrist shot. The shot is off. He was trying to be a little bit too fine there. That's why he missed the net. The puck is free. Now taken up by Palmieri. Big shot. It's blocked. Hangs onto it. 
looks for room. Tremendous pressure. He likes not to shoot. Strength and support by the Flames. Pressure now. Los Angeles on the move now in the defensive zone. Oh, good use of the body there. Puck is thrown to Salmon. Pass cut, strong play. Picks it up in his own end. The Kings lug that along in their own end. Not through. Let's go, Arister. Off his pad. Painful block shot there. And the loose puck captured by Crosby. Snapping a pass to Gabrick. And possession snapped up by Keith. Looking to Neal. The Kings lug that along up the wing. That's just a good, effective close-off. Well, that's got to hurt. That is a solid hit. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. The Flames are moving the puck in neutral ice. Oh, what a pad save. One-timer. Score! A pair of goals by the same team. key to the one-timer is the initial pass, and it was a beautiful one. I'm not even sure if he saw that. That thing cracked off his stick in an instant into the back of the net. The Flames have broken the tie here in the third period. So what will be their philosophy now? We'll probably see it from this opening faceoff. Moving it to Martin. Calgary setting things up through the neutral zone. Pitch that one back in deep. The Flames realize they have to get this puck in deep. Carried toward the woodwork by James Neal. And they've got a three on two here. In the... Oh, terrific save on a great chance. A missed opportunity from this close in. And he slips it back in. At this point in the game, you cannot afford to make any mistakes. That puck's got to get in deep. Flings it. Magnificent glove save. And he is shooting. Lightning like glove there. Loose, but he froze it. Stoppage of play. We go down to the benches. Here's Ray. Charles has been like a one-man demolition crew. He has been so physical all over the ice. Okay, Ray. He is a special player to watch. This next face-off is the largest one this game has seen. And they've won that draw. Oh, deflected away. Almost an ill-advised pass from the goalie. Los Angeles in control as they travel up the wing. Right on his stick on the centering pass. The Kings have to take a chance here. They pull their goalie. And that's an offside. The goalie has left. A skater is on. An extra one to try to get a key goal near the end. Pass cut. Might go the other way now. And the puck gathered in by Opposa. Calgary's in their own end, lugging it along. And he dumps it in. At this point in the game, you cannot afford to make any mistakes. That puck's got to get in deep. Does not get any more dramatic than this. Four feet by six, yawning open at one end, hoping for an advantage at the other. Jokinen's pickpocketed again. The Flames continue on at center. Net open, score! That empty net goal will send the fans to the exits. That's a good feeling on the bench. You've locked it up now with the empty netter. The Flames with a win at center. On to Tange. It's dumped in. Looks ahead to start something. To Felino. The game is over. The Kings have lost a close game.
Their goaltender is tired. He should be. Lots of rubber towards his net. This was a lot closer than it should have been. That's it for another great night at a hockey ring. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good evening, everyone.